So this is um, a lesson I've been doing with um, a, a number of my blue students. Um, <clears throat> so as always, we're outlining these chord shapes and arpeggios of the dominant seven. Uh, working in the key of A today, we're going to be working off this um, A7 chord off the fifth fret E low E string, our E form of dominant A dominant seven. Then we're going to move it up to the 10th fret, which gives us D, which is our four chord of the blues. And then we're whole step up from the D, which is the five chord, which is E dominant seven. And we're going to be um, looking at scale tones and a riff we can use over each of these chords, which you know, outlines the changes. It's good to practice this stuff in the in the form of a lick, rather than just always practicing scales and arpeggios all the time. If you can do something with this that's, you know, a bit creative and musical, then it's much more fun and, um, you know, much more pleasant to learn. So for the one chord, A dominant seven, this is the lick. happening we're sliding into the major third which is in this chord right down the sixth fret of the G sliding in with our middle finger it's important to use the right fingering so it keeps you in position in the right position for the chord so we're going to slide in from the fifth fret into the sixth which is minor third to major third then we're gonna we're gonna sort of you know visualize this triad. So we've got our major triad right there, A major triad. So we're gonna slide into the major third, and then with our first finger, which is right in position, we're gonna grab the fifth, which is a five, uh, fifth fret of the B string, which is a fifth degree. Then third finger in position is gonna come over to the seventh fret on the B string which is our sixth degree of the scale. We're looking at the uh, Mixolydian scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, flat seven, back to the one. So we're sliding into the major third. Five, six, and then we're gonna come up with our first finger, fourth fret on the G, which is our second degree it's the two it's in the scale it's not in the chord it, but it's in it's a scale tone so we're going to grab that note and then we're going to do a quick hammer on pull off to the fifth fret with our middle finger which is that's our minor third so we're just you know creeping into that minor third a little bit and then we're going to reach over to the seventh fret on the d that's our root. You can even finish it if you want it with a quick stab on the fourth fret on the D. Let's keep it on the root for now. You know, get comfortable with that lick and tell yourself what the notes are. So highlighting this chord. It's good to know the arpeggio for that. Root, third, fifth, flat seven, root, third, fifth, flat seven, root. The arpeggio always goes in order from whatever note you start on. So again, From that arpeggio, we're grabbing the major third, the fifth, the sixth is a scale tone, the two is a scale tone, hammering on to the minor third, which is a scale tone, and then a root, which is in our chord. So 
we've highlighted all the notes of the chord except for the flat seven. Then we want the four chord. So what we do, we just simply do this exact same thing up here out of this shape on the 10th fret. So we don't have to learn anything new but we're doing exactly the same thing for that chord. We're highlighting this chord. So again, it's major third, fifth, six, two, hammering on to the minor third, root. Back to our one. five chord so everything we do for the four we can move up a whole step for the five that gives us E dominant seven back to the four back to the one and then as I come over I moved into a different position for the five chord which is here which I'm going to go into in another lesson. This lesson, I just want to outline doing this to this one shape. It's good practice to just do it, do this lick over one chord, and then you can move it anywhere for any other chord in any other key. So if we wanted to do this in the key of G, we would just start. And then the four chord. Back to the one. Flat the five, the four, the one. Back to our one. So I'm going to go quickly into where we can do the four chord and the five chord in a, in a different position at a different chord. Just quickly, so where we've got the one, we've got the four, the root straight underneath it out of this dominant seven shape, or this one. So wherever we've got the chord, we can do the exact same lick. Slide into the major third, five, six, Two to the three, root. Coming right out of this triad. And for the five, we just simply move that upper whole step. And the cool thing about that is, is when you're on the, when you've done the, the you've done the lick for the one, it's a four chord. The root, what we finish on with our third finger, one note behind that root is the major third of the one. So it takes you straight back to the one chord. See you later.